Oppenheimer moment for artificial intelligence. Autonomous weapons enter the battlefield. Do you like our channel content? Give us credit by subscribing to the channel and making a like. For improvement, give us feedback and comment about the voiceover and content quality. In a fictional battlefield scene within a city, a group of trapped soldiers calls for military support, not in the form of human reinforcements, but through a swarm of small autonomous drones. These drones, equipped with explosives, roam the devastated city, identify targets, and then explode, killing them with terrifying efficiency. This scenario, featured in a promotional video by the Israeli arms company Elbit Systems, highlights the potential of artificial intelligence in modern warfare, which is gradually becoming a reality, according to a report in The Guardian. Oppenheimer moment. The Ukrainian military has used Allied-powered drones loaded with explosives to fly over battlefields and strike Russian oil refineries. Additionally, US Allied systems identified targets in Syria and Yemen for airstrikes earlier this year. The Israeli army has also used Allied-supported targeting systems to identify up to 37,000 Palestinians as suspected combatants, targeting them with airstrikes during the first weeks of its war on Gaza, according to the report. Experts emphasize that the increasing intensity of conflicts worldwide has created fertile ground for AI warfare, accelerating its pace. The widespread use of AI in wars shows that military forces are eager for these technologies, despite the unpredictable ethical risks they bring. The result is a multi-billion dollar AI arms race, drawing in Silicon Valley giants and militaries from around the world. The report mentions that diplomats and arms manufacturers widely believe that AI-based warfare and autonomous weapon systems have reached their Oppenheimer moment, a reference to Robert Oppenheimer's leadership in the development of the atomic bomb during World War II. The US military currently has more than 800 AI-related projects and requested $1.8 billion in AI funding for the 2024 budget alone. This wave of massive investment and development has fueled long-standing debates about the future of warfare. As innovation accelerates, experts in autonomous weapons warn that these systems are embedding themselves within militaries and governments worldwide in ways that may fundamentally change the relationship between society, technology, and war. Paul Share, Executive Vice President and Director of Studies at the Center for a New American Security, says, there's a risk that over time, humans will hand over more and more authority and decision-making to machines. We may look back 15 or 20 years from now and realize that we've crossed a critical threshold. AI warfare boom. While rapid developments in AI over the last few years have sparked a massive wave of investment, the drive towards autonomous weapons in warfare goes back decades. However, these efforts have rarely been the subject of public debate, drawing interest primarily from a relatively small group of academics, human rights workers, and strategic military experts according to The Guardian report. What has changed, as researchers note, is the growing public interest in all forms of aid and lie and genuine breakthroughs in the technology. Whether a weapon is truly autonomous is still a topic of ongoing debate. Experts and researchers argue that autonomy should be understood as a spectrum rather than a binary classification. Nonetheless, they generally agree that machines are now making decisions without human intervention more than ever before. The growing demand for combat tools that combine human and machine intelligence has funneled vast amounts of money into companies and government agencies that promise to make warfare smarter, cheaper, and faster. For instance, the Pentagon plans to spend $1 billion by 2025 on its Replicator initiative, which aims to develop swarms of AI-powered autonomous combat drones. The Pentagon has also allocated hundreds of millions of dollars in recent years to fund its secretive AI initiative, Project Maven, focusing on advanced technologies like automated surveillance and target identification. The US Air Force also plans to spend roughly $6 billion over the next five years on research and development of collaborative unmanned fighter jets. It aims to build a fleet of 1,000 AI-powered fighter jets that can fly autonomously. The Massive Investments The rising military demand for autonomy and AI technologies has been a treasure trove for tech companies and defense contractors who have won massive contracts to help develop various weapons projects. In April, Anduril, alongside General Atomics, was selected to provide a prototype for a new type of autonomous combat aircraft known as Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, for the US, Air Force and Navy. Anduril was chosen over major US defense industry names like Boeing, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman. Anduril is a relatively new player in the arms industry, having started just seven years ago. The company's success is largely attributed to its focus on integrating advanced software with military hardware to produce cost-effective, rapidly deployable systems. Its ability to deliver drones, submarines, and other advanced military technologies has made it a rising force in the defense manufacturing sector. Palantir, a tech and surveillance company founded by billionaire Peter Thiel, has also joined the AI warfare project, ranging from efforts to clear Ukrainian minefields to developing what it calls the first AI-powered vehicle for the US Army. 
In May, the Pentagon awarded Palantir a $480 million contract for AI technology to help identify hostile military targets. The military is already using the company's technology in at least two military operations in the Middle East, according to The Guardian. Andrew and Palantir represent only a small part of the global AI warfare boom. The German company Helsing reached a value of $5.4 billion this month after raising nearly $500 million based on its AI software developed for military purposes. Meanwhile, Elbit Systems secured $760 million in ammunition contracts from the Israeli Ministry of Defense in 2023, with the company's revenue reaching about $6 billion last year. It's not just weapons-focused companies. Big tech firms are also becoming more willing to embrace the military-industrial use of Amizu compared to previous years. In 2018, Google employees protested the company's involvement in the U.S. Army's Project Maven, arguing that it violated ethical and moral responsibilities, leading Google to eventually cut ties with the project. But since then, particularly in 2021, Google alongside Amazon signed a $1.2 billion deal with the Israeli government and military to provide cloud computing and AI capabilities for the Nimbus project. Google's response to employee backlash has also shifted. After employees protested the company's contract with the Israeli military recently, Google fired 50 of them. Similarly, protests against Amazon's military contracts in 2022 failed to bring about any changes in the company's policies. In the midst of these massive investments, Catherine Connolly, director of monitoring and research at the organization Stop Killer Robots, said, the amount of money we're seeing poured into autonomous weapons and AI targeting systems is deeply concerning. Thanks for watching and see you soon for a new topic. Do not forget to hit that subscription button to help us grow. Bye-bye.